Shalom everyone. Greetings and blessings from the Holy Land of Israel. Baruch Hashem. We are enjoying great sparks and great lights after spending wonderful days with our families, loved ones, the ones that have those wonderful people around them to to see their lovely faces and smile with that great bounty, that great great treasure of having families and the ones that are struggling without for them for sure also those holidays are very highly and important because even without the family members and even without the amazing experience of, of like hosting and like all the meals and dining and there is some very deep great feeling of being in touch with the holy day with our souls from within and we need to pay attention to that fact that every person is different you have people that for them the family is the most important thing in the world you have fa people that families only betrayed them only broke them only hurt them only disappointed them and those people also have life. Those people also can find the purpose of those holy days and of those hours that are so highly and important. And we need to understand that, first of all, of course, to consider other people's feelings and emotions, to remember them in their struggles. But as well, we need to remember that for our own selves, that not all people are alike. And everyone needs to believe in himself and to understand that the Creator has a different path and unique and individual road just for you. And you need to believe in yourself. You need to understand that, that Hashem expects from you to be you. He's not expecting from you to be Moshe Rabbeinu or to be Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. He wants you to be yourself. He just wants you to be truthful to yourself. And for that, you need to believe in yourself. You need to have that inner understanding that the maker of the universe sent you on a mission. I have a friend that we're in touch and we talk almost on a daily basis. And that person is, so to speak, not Jewish. It doesn't seem that he is, um, let's say, from the side, the rabbinical side, his conversion is not accepted. He is not considered a Jew. But that person's soul and also the real truth of his reality is that they don't know if they're Jewish or not. No one knows. Only the Creator, he knows really because the Creator knows and remembers all the forgotten things. The Creator, He's the one who knows exactly who was your great, great grandmother and where she came from. And you don't know. No one knows. Only the Creator knows the real truth about every individual and individual. So that person is telling me, listen, like I want to convert and I'm trying to convert and I tried so many times and I, I, told, you, listen, I told him, listen, my dear brother, if in reality the Creator would have wanted you to born to a Hasidish family, a Jewish family, in the Holy Land of Israel, the Creator knows how to make the world move as He wish, as He wants. And if He didn't, it means that you have a mission. You have a mission with your family, you have a mission with your surroundings, with your community, with the people around you. And that is your mission. If for you the life purpose is to convert, okay, go for that. No problem at all. Good luck. I'm going to write a nice letter for you for the conversion courthouse to, 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 to testify on your passion for Judaism. But if that is not the first thing that you're going to do tomorrow morning, and if there's many other things on your plate, in your plate, and you have many obligations and many things to do and many responsibilities. So go for that. You have your mission. You have a lot of things to do. Go do them. Go do those amazing things. Go be your true self. And when the time will come and when Mashiach, our true Mashiach will come and will remove the darkness and will shine the world with the light of, of love and truth and, and honesty and all the greatest things of them all, 
all the darkness will disappear and all the truth will rise and shine and float up and we're going to see the truth and you're going to find the true purpose of your being. But as for now, you need to do the best that you can. As for now, you need to be a person of truth, a representative of light to your surroundings. You have some people that will speak with you only because that the color of your skin is dark, only because that your accent is Mexican, only because that your language and your slang is from the south or from the north or from the east or from the west. Only because of that, they're going to count on you because you were growing up in a certain neighborhood or a hood, because you came from Africa, because you have a a, 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 a French accent, it, it doesn't matter. You have people that are going to listen to you because that you spend time with them in the same college or in the same basketball group or drinking alcohol with them in the middle of the night and woke up in the middle of the day. That's why they're going to count on you. And those people are the ones that need your help. Those people are the ones that you can affect. Those are the people that are surrounding you for a reason and for a purpose. And your souls are connected for a reason. And it's all supervised and synchronized by the Creator for a greater purpose than we can imagine. And you just need to believe in yourself that you are a great lighthouse to the darkness that is surrounding you. So don't be scared of the darkness. Just turn on the light and be that lighthouse. I was born in Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem. I was born in the Holy Land of Israel. And my connection to Judaism started only when I was 18, 19 years old. I could not care when I was a child about Judaism. My father did not follow the rules of the Torah. My mother was not observant, did not keep the Torah. We never kept Shabbat. They never turned the lights, um, candle lights for, for fr Friday afternoon for Shabbat. We did not eat kosher. We were not celebrating the holidays. They were eating on Yom Kippur. They were driving everything. So what? And I found my Judaism. How did I found my Judaism? Was I searching for Judaism? No, I was searching for the truth. I felt horrible with myself. I felt that I'm not honest. I felt that I was far from the truth. I felt that I'm wasting my time. I felt that I'm lying to myself, that I'm not being honest in my journey, in my path. I wanted a great change in my life. So I made changes in my life. I became a better person. I started being more honest, more truthful, more loyal. And then I found my Judaism, I found my way closer and closer to Hashem, to the Creator. But it came out of a simple search for the truth. And you can make the same search for the truth. Because there is one truth, the real truth, what the truth is. And just follow it, follow your heart, because your heart is shining and illuminating and brightening your path to find the Maker. And the Maker is speaking with you from within, using your senses, using your inner voice, speaking to you from within and opening another door for you and another door. And when you get into one room, from that room you have a different, higher, greater perspective. You can see a deep, deeper layer, a deeper level, a higher level, and you can climb up another floor, another level, another stage in life, and to climb and to rise and to shine and to bloom and to succeed and to illuminate the world with the light of your truth. And people will connect themselves to you based on your honesty on your loyalty, on your kindness, and you will shine for them. The person that you want to have as a father, you should be that kind of a father. The friend that you want to have, you should be that kind of a friend to your friends. And the light will shine from you to others and others will connect themselves to you and through you to the maker of the world, of the universe. We have such a great mission. The majority of the people of our nation are forgotten tribes. 10 out of 12 tribes are still out there, not even sure about their Judaism, not even sure about their connection to the people of Israel. We're the tribe of Yehuda. Yehuda took the responsibility in front of his father Yaakov to make sure that the brothers Shimon and Yosef will come back. Binyamin will come back that they will come back. He made sure, he took a guarantee, he took a, 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 a vow in front of Yaakov. We, the Jewish people, we took that vow. It's our responsibility to bring back our siblings, back home to the land of Israel. This is our mission. And that's what 
we need to do. That is what we need to do with our lives, to go and spread the light, to go and wake up all the souls, to call them, tell them, are you Shimon, are you Levi, are you Naftali, are you Yisachar, are you Zvulun? Are you Dan? Are you God? Are you Asher? Are you Levi? Are you, who are you? Are you Jewish? Who are you? And to keep on calling all the tribes, Shimon, everyone, call them, hey, Yachi, brother, what's going on? Wake up. Are you Jewish? Are you Israeli? And how will you know if a person's soul is in Israeli soul? The Israeli souls has three things inside of their heart. A connection to the Holy Land of Israel, a connection to the Torah, and a connection to the Maker, to the Creator of the universe. And of course, because they are Israelis, they love the people of Israel. So four things you have. The land of Israel, the Torah that's been given to Israel, the people of Israel, and the Maker that is the King of Israel. And if you find a person that in his heart there is love for those four things, for the people of Israel, for the land of Israel, for the Torah of Am Israel, and for the maker of the world, Adonai Elohei Israel, God Hashem of the people of Israel, if you found a person that that thing is shining in his heart, that square, that wonderful, amazing light of four things that we just mentioned, you should know that is an Israeli soul. That's it. A person that is not Israeli doesn't love the people of Israel. He doesn't love the Torah. He doesn't love the Holy Land of Israel. And he doesn't love Hashem Elokei Israel. He does not. And if you do, you should know that you're an Israeli. And if your friend does, you should know that he's Israeli. Be strong, huh? We have a lot of things to do. Keep on shining.